Hey, what is going on guys? Jamie here and today I'm super, super excited because Spotify has just dropped they're wrapped up. Now basically, uh, if you don't know what that is, I'll just give you a quick run through. So every year Spotify releases the, the Spotify wrapped up. And basically what it is, it basically just shows you all your results from the year, like how many minutes you've listened to, uh, your favorite, I think it's like top five favorite artists, your, your top five songs, your favorite genres. And so I've been really, really looking forward to uh, seeing my results this year. Cause last, cause I joined Spotify, I think it was about halfway through last year. So my minutes were only like 26,000 or something like that. I think it could have been 28, I can't actually quite remember but I remember that my number one listened to artist was St. John that's what I remember but yeah I've been waiting to make this for so long and I thought I would do a video about it just like to share my results with you guys um, I think it'll be something a little bit different and also you may notice well no you will notice that in the back here I've set up my rap poster wall I thought it'd be really really cool for like a backdrop for my YouTube videos instead of just having like the plain wallpaper so if you recognize any of these people here if you know who every single one of them is then make sure you comment down below and if you can guess every single one of them then I will love you forever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll know who this is uh, because of the giant poster that I got. I've made my predictions on who I think is going to be my top five favorite artists, uh, top five most listened to. And so I'm really looking forward to my top artists and my top songs. Uh, it's mainly my number one artist is who I'm really looking forward to. I have a feeling on who I think it will be. Actually, I kind of like know who it will be. I'm really interested to see the minutes listened because I work nightfall at a supermarket and, you know, once the store closes, we listen to music and all that. So like for hours on end, I'm listening to, you know, um, my music on Spotify. And and so I reckon it's going to be pretty high. I would say anywhere between maybe like 50k to like 70k maybe. I was aiming really high going for like 100,000 but I don't think I'll be able to crack that because um, that's a shite load of, <laughs> of music listening to. But I'll quickly pull up my predictions on who I think my artist will be and then we'll get straight into it and see my results. So I've written them down on my phone. And I'm also, I've got my screen recorder so you guys can see uh, on my phone. So right here, I've got my Spotify wrapped up predictions 2020. And the top uh, top two here is this is um, is predictions that I made quite, er not early on in the year. It was probably actually maybe like halfway through the year or something like that. So these have been here for ages, but the very bottom um, one there, the, the new one that says one week before wrapped up, that one I only made like a couple of days ago, like I only just added. And if you, you know, use notes, uh, Whenever you like update your notes, it will you know go to the date that you updated it. So I can't see when uh, I actually made those first predictions, which sucks. But so we'll quickly run through these. So my top five artist predictions were number one, Don Tolliver, number two, Lil Baby, number three, Polo G, number four, Lil Dirk, which is this man right here, and number five, Pop Smoke. So as you can see by the bottom, that has drastically changed because now I think that my number one is still going to be Don Tolliver. I still think he's going to be number one. Number two, NBA Youngboy. Number three, Juice World. Number four, Pop Smoke. And number five, The Kid Leroy. So as you can see, I changed it up a bit. The only thing I didn't change was Don Tolliver being number one. Yeah, I took out everybody else. I've replaced it. Oh, no, I haven't because Pop Smoke was still number four. So there was two people that I thought. So I took out Lil Baby, Polo G, and Lil Dirk. Uh, I've listened to them a lot this year, but compared to like Don Tolliver, NBA Youngboy, Juice Will, Pop Smoke, and the Kid Leroy. I just feel like they'll be a lot higher and they'll be in my top five. I'm not too sure if the Kid Leroy will make it or not because I I love him, but I've only just started listening to him like a couple of months ago. So I don't think he'll be on the stats because this is a year around. Like this is the, the whole year with of um with the music. That's why I put Pop Smoke there. But I, I put the Kid Leroy at number five anyway because I think I, he might just scrape the list. Anyway, uh, to the middle here, top five songs. So number one. I'm absolutely certain it will be this song. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Uh, but I reckon my, my number one song of the year is going to be Apollo G, Go Stupid, featuring Stunnerful Vegas and Inley Chopper. One of my favorite hype rap songs, like, ever. <laughs> if you haven't listened to it, I highly recommend it. There's no chorus and there's no even mention of being, of Go Stupid. It's just the verses and uh, the guy that goes last, Inley Chopper, is my favorite verse. And yeah, you, you have to see what I mean if you look it up. You have to be like really into rap though, because if you don't like rap, you'd probably, like your jaw would probably drop and be like, what is this filthy language? Like? <laughs> um, but anyway, so number two, I've got Travis Scott, Can't Say, featuring Don Tolliver. Uh, as you can tell, Don Tolliver is one of my favorites uh, this year. That's why I reckon he's going to be number one because uh, the, the amount that I've been listening to him. He's one of my favorite artists, like definitely of, of 2020 and going into next year as well. Number three, Nav Recap featuring Don Tolliver. Number four, Don Tolliver Cardigan. And five, Gianni De La Hoya featuring Don Tolliver. <laughs> yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll get into it and see how many I got right. All right, guys, here we go. Let's find out. Oh, little baby. Little dick. Pop smoke. The weekend, 2020 wrapped. 
The longest year ever may not be over yet, but your raptor's finally here. Hey. I can hear Polo. Let's start you off with a win. 843, what's that for? Let me pause this real quick. You discovered 843 new artists this year. Even in 2020, you, you still found ways to grow. 843 artists. That's insane. Genre lust. You listened to 273 genres this year, including 126 new ones. Wait, 273 genres? I didn't even know that was that much. Oh my goodness. It must be like very specific, like, because in, you know, you can't, you don't just have, um, you know, rap or hip hop, it's, it's, there's ones that are like melodic rap, there's like emo rap, there's trap rap, there's a bunch of different like genres just in one genre kind of thing. It's like a subgenre almost. Your top genres were, number one rap, of course, number two pop, number three trap, number four pop rap, and number five UK hip hop. It's funny, I was literally just talking about the other genres and there were, there's kind of what I was talking about, like pop, rap, trap. I'm surprised UK hip hop's on there, I've only kind of just started getting into the UK drill scene. I knew it! I knew it! Oh my god! Yes! Your top song of the year is Go Stupid. That was what I predicted my top song would be, just because the amount that I listened to it, like I was thrashing the hell out of that. I love it. And that is that, the song right here by the way. I forgot to show you guys, there it is right there, the, the poster for it. First stream, February 13th was when I first streamed the song, oh my goodness. I've still got that on my like songs and on a couple of my playlists as well, which is insane when you think about it. I've been smashing this song from February all the way to December in the same year. That is mental, that's almost a full year of one song. No wonder it was my freaking um, most listened to song, jeez. It's actually really funny because February 13th was the day I started YouTube, yeah, I think it was. February 13th, yeah. February 13th, 2014 was the, the day that I created my YouTube channel. That's kind of buzzy, eh? Day with most streams, February 18th. <laughs> so it must have come out a few days later, I was in love with it. And then just started bashing the hell out of the song. 100th stream, April 12th. Yo, it actually does show how much you've streamed it. 100th stream. So I've listened to that song 166 times. That is insane. Oh, I hear Don T. I hear Don Tolliver. Your top songs, here we go. Oh my god. Wait, okay. Number one, Go Stupid. Number two, Can't Say. Number three, Cardigan. Number four, Recap. Number five, Euphoria. Oh, did I seriously get one off? Wait, let me check this real quick. Top five songs. What did I reckon? Oh, I almost got that in the right order. Okay, so I got the last song wrong, but I got two in the, in the, like, in the right, um, you know, right, but in the wrong order. Can't say I got right, that was number two. Cardigan was number three. Oh, I thought Cardigan was going to be number four. And then Recap was number four. Oh, I see. Euphoria. Oh. Shut up. Oh, my God. The 2020 contained multitudes. It deserves a playlist. Listen to your top 100 songs of the year. Oh, at your library, definitely. I'll definitely have to check that out later and see what my top 100 songs were. Throw it back. Since time wasn't real this year, you revisited some old favourites. Compared to other listeners, which decade did you play the most? I would say 2000s. You got it! <laughs> Let's go! I don't listen to anything 90, like 2000s under, well not really anyway. I'm a very modern listener, so that's why all these rappers here, if you're like an old head, uh, what do you call it? Like an old school, like, so where you, you like your Tupac, your Biggie Smalls, your 50 Cent, your Eminem, you know, like your, your classic. Um, Rappers. I'm more into the modern stuff, but then again, I will still listen to like their stuff every now and then. Your top decade was 2000s. Your top song from the time was in De Club by 50 Cent. Wow. Oh, is this the top artist? Oh, I can't wait for this. This is my, the part that I can't wait for. Who was by your side in 2020? Other than your houseplants, of course. <laughs> oh, oh. Guess your top artist of the year. Juice World. Polo G, Don Tolliver, or Young Boy Never Broke Again, which is NBA Young Boy. I know it's not Polo, and I, I don't think it'll be Juice World. I, it's got to be Don Tolliver or Young Boy. Ah, oh, but did Young Boy take the top spot? But then again, the amount that I'm listening to. Okay, I'm just gonna stay true to to Don, and I'm gonna go Don Tolliver. It could be Young Boy. It could very well be um, someone else, but I'm gonna say it's gonna be Don Tolliver. Am I wrong? You truly know? Yes! Yes! 
Your top artist was Don Tolliver. You were in the top 0.01% of their listeners this year. Wait, what? 0.01%. Your favorite song of theirs was Cardigan and you spent 5,176 minutes listening to their music. What the hell? Oh, I'm so happy I got that right. Oh, I love Don Tolliver so much. You listened to 1,341 artists this year. Far out. Your top artists, yeah. Apollo G was on there. The Kid Leroy made it, oh my god. Wow. Your top artists, number one, Don Tolliver. Number two, NBA Youngboy. Three, Polo G. Four, Juice World, And five, The Kid Leroy. Well, I wasn't sure if The Kid Leroy was going to make the list or not, but he definitely did. Uh, so let's compare that real quick to my predictions. So I got Don Tolliver right, I got NBA Youngboy right. Oh, I was just one off with Juice World. Um, I didn't have Polo G on there, I thought Pop Smoke was going to take him out. Number five, The Kid Leroy. So we got three predictions right, and we got uh, Juice World there, but in the wrong place. Wow, I'm really, really happy with my results this year. That is so cool. I love it. 64,481 minutes listen. Okay, wow, I was aiming really high then, because I thought it was going to be over 100k. Okay, my prediction was what well, I did say, I think I said 50k above. So there you have it guys, that is my 2020 Spotify wrapped up results. I'm really, really happy with my results. Um, I'm really surprised with the minutes listened, I thought it would be a lot higher, but 64,000 minutes is still a heck load. Um, of time listening to music, but yeah, I'm, I'm super super happy. I, I was really really close to getting everything spot on But I I managed to get my top artist right and my top song of the year right But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and you can go onto Spotify and it'll be right there on the like the home page And all you have to do is just click it and it will start loading your results. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video